Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the types of file. In file handling, there are different different ways in which we divide the file. The first way is how we access the file. So based on file access, we are having two types of file. The first one is the sequential file, and second one is the random access file. First of all, we are learning the sequential file. Let us suppose that we are creating a file. In this file, we are having the elements in sequential order. Let's say it is one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So here, the first point about the sequential file is that the data is stored into the sequential order. Let us suppose that from the sequential file, we has to search, let's say, record three. Now, for searching the record three, we has to move one by one. So first of all, we will go with the one. Then two, then we can go with the three. So that means one by one we has to go. So here data will be stored and read sequentially. But if we talk about the random access file, in the random access file, I am taking the example here. Let us suppose that we are having a file. In the random access file, it is not compulsion that data should be sequentially stored. But we are assuming that it is stored in the same manner. So let us assume that there is one, two, three, four, five, six. So one thing to note here, it is not a compulsion that data should be stored sequentially. It can be sequential or it can be non-sequential data. But let us assume that I want to search for, let's say, third record. In the random access, we can directly go on the third record. That's why it is called random access. So here, data read randomly let us suppose that in the sequential file we are having a record which is at the end we know that six is the at the end if i has to go on that record so we has to go one by one that means one two three four five so all the records we has to traverse that means to read a record in sequential file it is required to read all records sequentially before it. So in the sequential file, if you want to access the last record, then we have to traverse all the records one by one, which are before that. Now, if you talk about the random access file there, if you want to access the last record, let's say six, then we can go directly on the last record because here the name is random access. So here, to read a record in random access file directly, we can read it. So in the random access file, we are having the direct access to the records. If you talk about the sequential file, in the sequential file, let us suppose that we want to search the last record and for that we have to traverse all the record. That means we are wasting the time because we are going till the last for searching. That means it is going and taking more time. So here access time is more in the sequential file. But if you talk about the random access file, in that file, if you want to go on the last record, directly we can go that. That means here the time of access is very fast. So it takes less access time. So here we are having the difference between the types of files which are based upon file access. The first one is sequential and second one is random access file. So the difference is number one, in the sequential file, we read sequentially, but in the random access file, we read randomly. In the sequential file, if we want to search a record, then we have to read all the previous records sequentially, which are before that. But in the random access file, we can directly read that record. In the sequential file, we has to go one by one. That's why there is more access time. But if you talk about random access file, we are reading randomly. So that's why we are going directly on the record. So here less access time, it is very fast. Now we are learning the another type of file, which is based upon the file storage. So based upon storing the file in memory, we are having two classification of file or two types of file. The first one is text file and second one is binary file. First of all, we are learning the text file. Let us suppose that we are having a file. 
we are assuming that in this file we are having numeric data let's say we are having one two three four five six so this is the data inside the file whenever we create the file first of all that is the part of ram that means the primary memory we know that ram is the primary memory so here the file first of all is created in the primary memory which is ram when we are going to save that file then file will be going to the secondary memory we know that secondary memory is called disk or it can be called hard disk today we are having is the ssd or the hard disk they are called the secondary memory so when we are going to save the file then this file will be moving from ram to disk so here this file will be saved inside the secondary memory so here that file is stored let's say the content is 1 2 3 4 5 6 when the file was in ram at that time here we need 3 byte for the storing this file but when the file is going to the secondary memory then at that time every single numeric it will take one byte that means this one two three four five six they will consume one one byte that means this file will be of now six byte if we are discussing about the binary file and taking the same example let us suppose that we are having is a file this file contain let's say one two three four five six this is the numeric data and this file is created in the system that's why it is first of all the part of primary memory that means ram when we are going to save this file then this file will be going to the secondary memory that means disk or the hard drive so here this file will move from primary memory to the secondary memory as we are dealing with the binary file so here the binary equivalent will be stored let's say for the one we are having some binary equivalent so for complete file one two three four five six there will be binary equivalent so that equivalent will be stored in the form of one zero one zero one zero zero one one this way it will be stored so here the file will be taking let's say three byte inside the ram and when we are storing this file means we are saving this file it will be the part of disk it will consume very less space so here in the text file we have seen that whenever we are having the numeric data let's say it is of three byte then we are storing it to disk it is now of six byte taking more space but if you talk about the binary file here the data if you have three byte it will take very less number of bytes so in the text file when we move numeric data from ram to disk it occupy more disk space in the text file we know that the file was of three byte and we have saved to the disk it is now of six byte that means consume more space in the disk and if you talk about binary file when numeric data is moved from ram to disk it consume less disk space in the ram the file was of 3 byte when we save to the disk it takes less bytes so binary file take less bytes when we are saving it to the disk if you talk about the text file it consume more bytes in the disk that's why the text file is insufficient to store large amount of numeric data if you talk about the binary file it takes less bytes in the disk that's why it is sufficient to store large amount of numeric data now we are learning the difference between text file and the binary file in the text file whenever we are moving the numeric data from ram to disk it consume more disk space we can see that the data in the ram was 3 byte and in the disk it is of 6 byte but if we talk about the binary file here the numeric data when we are moving from ram to disk it consume less space because it is stored into the 0 and 1 means binary in the ram it was of 3 byte and in the disk it take less byte because 0 and 1 consume less disk space because text file consume more disk space that's why it is inefficient to store the large amount of numeric data but the binary file 
takes less disk space that's why it is sufficient to store the large amount of numeric data so that is all about the types of files